All right, welcome to Cancun. So if you're coming to Cancun, you want to come out of the airport, you can get taxi in there or rental cars, but as you're going down the main corridor right before you exit, those people are going to try to sell you, sell you a timeshare of some type. So you basically come out to this area, it's got A, B, C, and D. And most of the hotels pick up right here, and you the hold the sign that tells you exactly who you need to go visit with. So if you have a pre-arranged shuttle, make sure you come out to this area. They have a welcome bar here. You can grab something to eat as well. But uh, we're doing a transfer over to the Sun Palace today. So we're going to spend four days at the Sun Palace. And we're going to do a report and shoot a video over there and show you what the Sun Palace is. It's an all-inclusive resort and it's going to be a lot of fun. So join us. I like the variety that they have for the only thing missing is Tocino. A lot of variety there. Yeah. On my station. Yeah. And oh a lot of hot stuff. So this is where you get your facials or your pedicures. This is part of the spa. Um, I've used it before. I've actually had a haircut here and a pedicure. And they do a great job. Just get ready to open up now. Whoa. One of the things I've noticed with the spa here is that the uh, spa only has one co-ed area. That's the co-ed area has a very small hot tub, maybe for like four to six, and a little cold plunge. Um, otherwise, you're pretty much separate. They do offer some couples massages, but the spa here is actually quite small. It used to be up where the Thai restaurant is, and they moved it down here. So they've kind of separated the the pedicure haircut area from the main spa but uh, we didn't do a treatment on this one I have before and, and they've always been really good at the uh, spa under the palace property name but uh, we didn't have time to do one on this one and just we're kind of busy with hanging out by the beach and doing other stuff but 
you know, it's pretty much uh, what you would get at a normal spa. Nothing overly impressive considering the small size, but uh, if you're with your loved one and you like massages, definitely give it a visit. I actually like the Italian cuisine, probably one of our favorites here. So this is the Italian restaurant. It's in the morning, so they're closed right now. But uh, probably one of the most elegant, nicest dinner places you can have. In the evening, sometimes I'll have a piano player. We came kind of late, so we missed that. I actually set up in here, this area. It's actually really nice. You kind of have this 360 almost view of everything when you're up here during the uh, evenings. It's really peaceful. So. This is, again, the Italian restaurant. We enjoyed it. Came here twice, actually. And uh, it was quickly became probably my wife's favorite. I still kind of like El Fuego. Kind of a steak guy, so I liked Fuego. But. What do you think? Liking it? This is a Thai restaurant. Hey, yours looks good. The shrimp. It's like a wasabi beef or something you're cooking on there. It's kind of cool to cook it on. Wagyu. Uh, it's just after 8 a.m. and pretty much most of the chairs are taken. This is the pool bar that'll be open in a little bit. One thing I did notice is they do take your towels. If you leave it for one hour and nobody comes, they'll put a sticker on there and they'll come and take your towels off. I've noticed they did that a few times to people. So that's kind of nice. Palace Elite area. Right over here. Couple of chairs to hang out in. Good morning. Hola. Going back by the photo area. They do have a little store over here as well. Hola, how you doing? Good. Sweet and coffee.
In case you forgot something, we have a good store here. Hola. Really good selection of sunglasses. Maui Jim, Michael Kors, Tiffany and Company, Ray-Ban, and my personal favorites, Oakley. Good selection. Each floor has a concierge, but I haven't ever seen anybody sitting at that concierge area. Maybe they've got limited hours. You also got your ice on your floor. Main ice dispensers. You can fill up here. They have the ice canister in the room. You can put your ice in there. We're on the third floor. Some of the other floors you probably get better views. But this is nice. We stopped by Navios yesterday. That's if you if you're interested in going off property, that's a really nice restaurant. It goes on the water. It's called Navios. It's just across the street from the Sun Palace here. Then you got the bay. You notice we took a ride up to the mall on the bus. They have the R2 buses. Any of the buses that go up north along here, you can get on those buses. They're 12 pesos per person. And you can go up to the malls or wherever you need to do. And they're constantly running, so you can get on and off those really, really simple. You see them going, these red buses. They, they're coming by, especially in the morning, constantly. 12 pesos per person. I think if you happen to have a car, they do have limited parking for cars. I think even some of this out front here and here, and there's also some on the other side. But I don't think they have a ton of parking. Um, but they probably take care of you. I believe the parking is included if you happen to have a car. Just got through security here, Terminal 4. And this is the newest terminal in the Cancun airport. I just redid it, uh, it's a couple years old now. Been through here a couple times. Forgot your booze, you can get it. Hi. Hi, <laughs> Look at all the specialty candies they have over there, chocolates. Victoria's Secret. And if you didn't get enough of the all-inclusive, you got Wolfgang Pop Kitchen. <laughs> Poppin', it's lunchtime. Pretty cool shirts. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed this video and it's informative for you if you're looking at a smaller all-inclusive like the Sun Palace. Um, we love this resort. We've been here many times. It's more of the chill, low-key resort. It uh, doesn't have as much going on in terms of, you know, mini golf or riding bikes or tennis or a lot of these different things. It's very low-key. Uh, it's just kind of a nice couples resort. The show's probably less than, you know, on par than when what you'd get at other resorts. Um, but overall, good service, really friendly staff. They have two pools, one reserved for elite members, one for regular guests. 
And that's same on the beach, an elite area and a regular guest area. Typically the loungers near the pool are taken up very, very early. They're reserved and uh, if you don't get up early, plan on spending your time on the beach, which we didn't mind, we like the beach. However, it is sometimes nice to have a chair near the pool. Um, the buffet is smaller, not uh, anywhere near what you would find um, at a larger all-inclusive. The Sun Palace has 252 very nice spacious rooms. Um, that's probably what brings us back here and the beach is fabulous, fantastic. Uh, not much seaweed compared to what you find further south. So we'll go back. Uh, hopefully this gives you some good information on the Sun Palace. And if it helps you, go ahead and like and subscribe and watch for my next video. Thank you for watching.